guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com. What do you get when you take a Samsung Galaxy S smartphone and you add 4G connectivity and a slide-out keyboard? You get the Sprint Epic 4G, and in this video, we're going to unbox it. It's finally here. Let's get to it. All right, and this very well could be the most impressive Galaxy S smartphone yet. This could be the phone to get of 2010. Let's get to the unboxing. It's a big box, and inside there is a small box. So we'll put that to the side. And here is the box for the Epic 4G. This is the second 4G smartphone in America. The first was, of course, the Evo 4G, which had a 4.3-inch display. Let's see what we have on the box. We've got some icons for Twitter, little Android guy. Uh, Galaxy S smartphone, 4G. The keyboard looks really great, really great. Let's look around the box and see what we have here. Super AMOLED. Got the sprint colors on the back, the bright orange or bright yellow. Inside the box we get the battery, AC charger, no case or anything like that. Okay, well let's just get right to the unboxing here. I'm going to lift off the lid. And here it is, introducing the Samsung Epic 4G Galaxy S smartphone with a stunning Super AMOLED display. We'll put that aside just for a second. I'm sure the accessories are standard fare inside here. Got a lot of heaviness inside this. Looks like a large manual for the, uh, for the device. And of course, if you don't have 4G in your area, the Epic 4G will work on 3G, just like the Evo. So nothing terribly interesting in there. We've got some headphones. And where is the battery? The battery's probably already inside the device. Looks like it actually comes with an SD adapter. That's kind of rare. So it's a micro SD to SD adapter from Samsung so that you can plug it into your computer or your laptop. Anyhow, let's take a look at the Epic 4G. It's already feeling quite thin, and you know devices with slide-out keyboards can be thick, uh, but this is actually very thin. Can't wait to peel this off. Wow, gorgeous. The front is just completely black. Unless you tilt it, you can't even see the screen. It looks very futuristic, uh, very much different than the other Galaxy S variants that are out there. So let's take off as much plastic as possible so we can really get a sense for how this device looks and feels. Let's take a look at this keyboard. Spring assisted, fantastic, always nice to have. Very, very thin profile uh, compared to some other devices we're going to compare this with in a second. Let's see how this keyboard feels. It's medium clickiness, not terribly clicky, but it's got a lot of bounce to it, so the keys bounce back really quick. Very large sized keyboard, well balanced and weighted. But the front is just what's really impressive. It doesn't look like a slide-out keyboard device if you look at it from the side because it's so thin. In fact, if we compare it to the Droid 2, which has a smaller screen, 3.7 inches, the thickness difference is, is really apparent here. And let's take a look at the keyboards, how they compare. And of course, the Droid 2 doesn't have a spring-assisted keyboard, so it'll stop in the center like that. So let's take a look at how these keyboards compare. The keyboard on the Epic 4G is definitely bigger. The keys are spaced apart more, but they're arranged in a grid-like fashion, which may bother some people uh, that, that are concerned with ergonomics. Let's try to turn this on for the first time as we continue to do comparisons. I'm not sure if the battery is in. I think it is. And here's the power button on the side. Yep, there it goes, turning on. So let's compare this to some other devices. Here it is next to the good old Google Nexus One, which has a smaller screen. I gotta tell you, the screen on the Epic 4G is incredible. On all the Galaxy S devices, the Super AMOLED display is just fantastic. Okay, so here we are. We'll just do a little first-time setup here. So it looks like to unlock, we just slide that up. And we get the the usual Galaxy S interface. So we can have up to seven home screens, but we can remove them if we want. Super buttery smooth interface with the Hummingbird platform. We've got this interesting arrangement of icons that we can change to a variety of things. We can customize that. And right now it's updating the settings so that I can get a, a signal. Curious to see if I get 4G right here. Typically there is 4G around my apartment, so we'll give that a couple of minutes, turn off the screen. 
won't allow the screen to shut off. Let's compare it to the HTC Touch Pro 2, another slide out QWERTY device. And of course the screen on the Epic 4G is indeed bigger, one of the larger screen sizes, four, four inches. Let's compare the keyboards. So on the Touch Pro 2, we get keys that are offset and kind of rectangular, whereas on the Epic 4G, they are square. Let's see if anything's happening yet. Not yet, it's still thinking. We'll cut back in a second and see if we're getting 4G. Okay, now 4G wasn't enabled by default, so I had to go into the settings menu and turn it on, and now it's saying 4G ne network disconnected. Another way you can access the 4G setting is, of course, through this pull-down window shade here. Um, so it looks like I'm on 4G right now, kind of a low signal, and now it's sort of bouncing back and forth. Let's jump into the web real quick and see if we can see uh, some 4G speeds here, although it looks like this is a low signal area to get the 4G because it's obviously going in and out. So slide open the keyboard, super smooth slide out. I'm uh, curious to see how this keyboard feels after using it for a while. First impressions is, is that it feels really fantastic, has a really s great smoothness about it, and I'm not even connected to the internet here. Maybe it's because I mistyped the address. Okay, here we go. This is over 3G, but just want to demonstrate the, uh, the speed over 3G, and then we're going to cut out and come back in another video talking about the software and the hardware and really all of the cool stuff the Sprint Epic 4G has to offer. Now, what's interesting is that the Android buttons aren't really visible over here. Um, you can't really see... The, are they going to light up? Hmm, that is... up oh, there they are. That's really odd, uh, actually, that you can't see the buttons unless they're illuminated. So when the device is off, and this is why the device looks kind of cool from the front, you don't see the buttons. You only see the buttons when you turn on the device and they become illuminated. A pretty cool effect to really give this device a clean look from the front. As you can tell, we're very excited about the Epic 4G. This may be, uh, like we said, the one of the best Android devices of this year. Definitely the best Android device on Sprint right now, especially if you want to slide out keyboard, although if you don't want to slide out keyboard, the Evo 4G is also a really good option. Got a lot more coming up on the Epic 4G. Please subscribe to our channel if you like our videos, and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. That's it for now.